Hey dolls, so today I'm going to be showing you how to make this gorgeous, glamorous feather chandelier DIY and uh, all of this is under $100, so grab your coffee, grab your tea and let's do this DIY dolls. You need a glue stick, which is this one here. <laughs> you would need a glue gun. You would need you would need this called ook. Um, I've never worked with this before, but it makes sense that I would use something like this to hold. This I heard can hold a chandelier up as well, depending on the size you get. Um, this is a uh, galvanized wire, you know, you can see it here, and used here to cut it. I got mine on Amazon. So um, here's the wires, here's how it looks like. And this is what we're gonna be using to hang our crystals. Um, so I'm about to show you that. Um, let's show you the crystals. So here are the crystals. So I got all of my crystals on Amazon. I'm gonna show you what, which ones I'm using. So I bought lots of them. This is, all of my crystals cost under $30, mind you. And I'm working with two different types of crystals. So I want this one that dangles, that looks like this. The ends look like this. And these are plastic, like a uh, kind of, like a loose sight type of material, like plastic. Then the other one I got is this one here, which is more expensive. So I think those were like $10, this is 20. And this one is, if you can hear, it's really heavy. This is glass. So this is like really, this really looks nice in the sun when you have it against the sun. As you can see, it, there's no sun right now and it looks gorgeous. So this is how it looks like. As you can see, it has like this rainbow reflection. And I like this. So I'm going to pair it with, so this will be on there. And I'm going to pair it with these ones here. Okay. So you're going to need feathers as well. My feathers, I got three feathers. And um, this is how they look like when you take them out of the bag. Depending how big, this is how they look like. Depending how, you, and I'm gonna link all of this, all of this is on Amazon. So I'm gonna link the seller down below. Depending how big your lamp is, for me I'm using three. You can use, one thing is the lamp. So instead of making a lamp from scratch, I got this lamp on, um, I got it from Target. And I'm gonna put the information in the link down below. So here's how the lamp looks like. And I think it's just better to go with something already done. Um, it's just much easier and less stress. And this is it, I got it, it's called Fresh Hold. And I paid $16 for it. And it's really big, that's why it's not fitting into this frame. And this is where your crystals are gonna hang from here. We're gonna attach them with this. So I guess we can get started now. Now you know all you need. Very simple and very easy to make DIY. Um, yeah, so let's get started. Two, I found out two was not enough, so I'm gonna use three for extra fluffiness. This is very fluffy, by the way. So you're gonna make some loops with your wires and um, you're just gonna thread them through with your hand, um, with your fingers right through your crystal. And you're gonna keep going. Yes, it does kind of get boring, so I would advise to put on music and just chill as you do it. I love how it comes with a little razor where you can cut it. That is such a handy feature. Instead of using scissors or anything or pliers, you can just cut it with the razor. And just repeat this process on and on. And you'll end up with a bunch of crystals like this all wired through. Now I must say put them down on a corner somewhere nicely um, row by row instead of having them bunched up like how I have it here because they're going to get tangled and I learned by I learned the hard way because I had to re-loop all of these again. Can you see how gorgeous these glass crystals look? As I was saying they shine really really nicely and they have a nice reflection to it when it hits the light right. Okay so the next one I have is the plastic one. And still very pretty, but the glass beats it out. Um, I just like the length of this one. So I'm gonna do the same process and just take my wire and loop it through. So we're gonna repeat the same process with the ook. And we're just gonna, um, I found it hard with that plastic cover over it. So I just used some scissors to cut it away. So we're gonna loop it. We're gonna um, roll it out 
and there's like no measurement i'm just eyeballing so i did waste a lot of this um wire i'm just eyeballing where i want it to hang i would say go long than go short because you're going to waste a lot if you do it short so my tip is to go long like make sure this is as long as you can get it and then you can tie it on the top of the chandelier so um yeah make sure you do longer wire wires wire loops than doing shorter ones because you're going to regret it if it's short you can't cut it you can't do anything you're just stuck with a short piece and that's a wasted piece of wire so that's my tip i'd rather go long than go short at least with sh long you can cut it Okay, so I love this little feature that has the razor on the end. It's just so much easier. So yeah, again, loop and then there you go. You've got your piece and keep doing this until you get the desired effect you want. You can skip this part of the video because it's just going to be me doing the same exact thing on and on and on just so you can get the point because I feel like if I do like a speed up video part of it if I speed up the video here most people are not going to get what I did so I let this I left this piece in the video so you can see exactly what I'm doing because um if I was watching this video myself I'd like to see in detail how I loop it and what I do so I left this part of the video just so whoever's watching this can get an idea of how to do it the more you see something i guess the more you learn how to do something so if you want to learn how to do this stay watch the whole of this to the watch all of this clip to the end before i speed this process up oh and this wire can get really tangled as well i just wanted to let you know um you just have to be really really careful with that wire when it's or when it's like in a coil like that it kind of just get tangled um again just repeat the process put some music in your ear and it will go fast i promise you now we are going to take our glue and take our lamp and start where the seam of the lamp is that way you can know that you've gone round really good you just have a direction and just um start gluing i guess it's, this is the funnest part well it is kind of annoying actually this part because you know this is not like a this is a fluffy fabric it gets everywhere and a warning get prepared to have hair all over you but it's worth it in the end i promise you just get ready to vacuum and hoover your floor um and to get rid of all this like chicken hair <laughs> i don't even know what animal this is is this a chicken someone let me know in the comment section down below what this feather boa is made of but um just get ready to have chicken hair all over your floor um <laughs> so yeah um just go around make sure you um, what you can do is you can use some pins to push back because they you would get all that hair everywhere as you're trying to glue the new hair so just use some pins or something to push it back the ones that you've already glued down down i'm using my hands as i go along you just have to be very patient and very observant with this if not you can mess up the project be, don't rush it take your time it's very fast it takes time because you want to make sure you're gluing properly but it's not a long project it's not like you have to cover a big piece of area so take your time as you do it and um, as i said put some music in your ear it'll go by fast, faster than you think or watch a netflix documentary and shake it out you're meant to shake it out i've done the first row so shake it out and then do the second row and depending how big your lamp is, I needed three. So if you have a smaller lamp, which is next time I'm going to do a nightstand um, lamp. So um, if you're having a, if you're doing like a light nightstand lamp, you probably need you probably need two feathers. So shake it out. You're going to get this everywhere. You're going to have it all over your hair. You're going to have it all over your clothes. But it's okay. It can go away. It's not like glitter. It's not as annoying as glitter is. So yeah. So we're done now ready to start looping the crystals onto the chandelier update As so i was filming um, i went to target and um i came across something so i cut all of my stuff really short the wires so i needed instead of starting all over again and getting new wires i'm using the same wires but i went to target and i got this heavier wire which is right here and it's used um for picture frames and this is the size and it can hold a weight of 30 pounds and that's how it looks like you use it to hold picture frame so that's how they hold you know how you hold picture frames of wire that type of wire so it's this is how it looks like you can screenshot this it's picture hanging wire and it's just a little bit thicker 
than the wire that I originally got. And I'm just using it almost like an extension to hold it, to make them longer. So if that happens, do that, buy this to make it longer and also to hold the weight of, um, so what I do is I tie it around, like I tie a knot around it. Focus. Let me show you this one. So I tie a knot around it, can you see? I just wrap it around really, really tight and it's holding the rhinestone, the crystals. And as you can see, these ones have more weight, so this works really well. Because I felt like if I use this alone, this wire here, it may not hold the weight, but this, the weight has been held by this thick wire that I got from Target. So that's just a note. You can also go ahead and get a thick, thick, thick wire as thick as this. But what I do like about this technique is that at the bottom, you don't want this thick wire to show that's holding the rhinestones. This wire is better to be seen. So in a way, this does work out well. So basically, use the same wire technique and not, the, not this thicker wire at the top. You get it? I hope that helps. <laughs> so I'm going to take my wires and tie them, which I found with this new wire I got from Target, the picture frame hanging wires. It is so much more sturdy and it holds it really, really good. So I say that's a really good idea. Loop it and tie it loop them together and tie it like this you can tie them any way like just as long as it's secured hanging on this wire you're good as you can see throughout this video i'm going to tie it in so many different ways you can knot them you can tie them together like that until you have it like this you're good <laughs> and this took me about i'll say 30 minutes to an hour to do all of this it didn't take that long at all it's actually really fun This dolls, this is how it looks like after. Absolutely gorgeous. And this video is filmed at night, that's why it's kind of dark in here, but this is how it looks after. I mean, for my first try, it came out really pretty, more than I expected. And I just love it, it's so beautiful. And it's so glamorous and so easy and so cheap to make. If you were to buy one of these, it'll probably be in the thousands or near the thousands. So I'm so happy with how mine turned out and under $50, under $100, it's very cheap to make. So here it is, it's beautiful. So if you enjoyed this video, give it a big fat thumbs up. If you're new to my channel, subscribe down below. Let me know if you're going to be trying your hand at making one of these. I would like to see um, at me on Instagram. I'll put my Instagram information down below as usual. Um, thank you so much for watching dolls. And if you want to see some glam DIYs like this, stay tuned to my channel. Thank you so much. And I'm so obsessed with this lamp. It's so beautiful. Not lamp, chandelier. Let's get it right. <laughs> so yeah, so gorgeous. Thank you so much for watching dolls.